Welcome back to the Plus Side of Nashville. You know, last month, a Hendersonville woman received a phone call from Ellen DeGeneres that would garner national attention for her organization. She started and she it continues to grow and it morphs into whatever it needs to be. Taylor Rowe, the founder of Live Love Nashville, is my guest and I'm so excited to have her here. She's just a breath of fresh air and doing so many great things for our community. First of all, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. It's delightful to have you. So you started Live Love Nashville in October of 2016. It's still so young. Yes, ma'am. What was the inspiration for this? I always knew that I wanted to help children in our area, but I never knew exactly how I was going to do that. So I was searching one day for a Nashville Skyline shirt for myself, and I just couldn't find any that I liked. So I thought that would be a great opportunity to give back to the community, and then the person also also gets a gift from that. So they also get a t-shirt. They can wear it every day. So I came up with this yeah. Skyline shirt that says Live Love Nashville on it. And 100% um, of the proceeds go right back to the children in our community. Well, I just think that's amazing. You Thank started you. out by doing what? What was your first community service project? I had two teacher friends at Buena Vista Elementary and every year they're wonderful teachers and they give back to their children Christmas gifts in their classrooms every year because these children live in poverty and they may not get these gifts at home so they wanted to give back and they actually made a post on social media I came across it and I knew that I had to do something because those kids are right here in Nashville in our community so I started there uh -huh. I was able to help out two classrooms in 2016 at Buena Vista with Christmas gifts last year I was able to provide the entire school Christmas <laughs> gifts warm pajamas warm clothing blankets hats gloves hygiene items it was amazing. Wow. <laughs> How many t-shirts did it start out with you? Did you just say, okay, I'm going to print up a hundred and we'll see you know how that does how many did you have to start out with I actually started out with 50 I thought hey, okay. if I can sell 50 shirts I will be doing great <laughs> I can help out this classroom and but it ended up selling over 350 oh just in goodness. two months and oh my <laughs> what was the response like from the kids Oh, so heartwarming. It's just amazing. Those kids get so overjoyed at the smallest things. Their favorite thing by far was a fidget spinner, a 50 <laughs> cent fidget spinner. They could have got nothing else and they just would have been over the moon excited. That is so wonderful. And I know that's that's kind of addictive. We're seeing some video. Look at that. <laughs> they are running around. It is it for you that had to be just amazing. The it makes thrill. It all worth it. I yeah. just that just warms my heart so much. I wish everybody could experience oh that. As a mother of two, you work full time. <laughs> How, before you got on Ellen, how were you getting the word out about Live Love Nashville? Strictly social media. Just my friends, my family would go and tell their friends. They would wear the shirts out and people would say, where did you get that? And then the community of Nashville is just so amazing. They want to help. They yeah. want to give back. They want to do what they can. And it's just amazing how much a $20 t-shirt can go <laughs> and change so many lives. So all the t-shirts are $20. Yes, ma'am. So all the t-shirts are $20. I also also have long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts, hats, yes. koozies, hopefully expanding to some other items as well. You soon. brought one other yes. of your shirts to show and that's the representing our predators. Yes. Live, Live Love, Smash. Love Smash. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Well, we, we, we can go to your website and we can find those items, of course. Yes, ma'am. It's livelovenashville.org. Great. And all those proceeds go to go back into the organization. Yes, ma'am. 100% of okay. the proceeds. I want to find out now. Everybody else how in the world did Ellen DeGeneres find out about you? <laughs> so she actually did a contest this past December or this past couple of months and she it was one million acts of kindness so all of my friends all of my family were like you have to enter this contest <laughs> you would be perfect she, Ellen would love you yes. so I entered and then I didn't hear anything back until a month later probably and I got a phone call at a Mexican restaurant and I was just <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, but it was just a producer. So I had no idea that Ellen would even be involved. They were just interviewing yes. me and then Ellen surprised me what I thought was going to be an interview with a producer. It There's was Ellen. 
<laughs> when all of a sudden there pops up Ellen, oh not the producer, but Ellen. Yes. <laughs> that had to be amazing, the feeling that you got from that. I can't even describe it. I thought I was going to pass out. <laughs> I was hyperventilating. Yes. I couldn't think of anything. I wanted to say so much, and I couldn't say any of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of us got a chance to watch that. Uh, we did show that quite a bit here on News Channel 5. Thank you for that. Uh, and, and, and that. And there you are. You actually got to go out to the show, and that was just a whole audience full of people who were do, doing good things. Yes, ma'am. She hand-selected every member of the audience for her 60th birthday show. It was a two-part segment, so we were there for both shows, and um, she actually ended up giving away a million dollars for the entire audience to split, so oh, I was a part of that gosh. gift. It was incredible. This was just a month or so ago. Are you yes. still, like, on a high from that? <laughs> Absolutely. I don't think there's any coming down from that ever. It's right. It's just the time of my life. Has, what's the response been like? Because this is national attention. Not just now that people in Nashville know about you, but this is people all over the world know about you. Yes, ma'am. I've had orders from all across the country oh in goodness. all different states where I don't even know a single person, and they're ordering my shirts and <laughs> helping Nashville and giving back to our wonderful city here. It's so incredible, the people all yeah. over the country now. I guess it doesn't hurt that Nashville is now so popular. Yes, ma'am. And everybody wants to see, have something that says Nashville. So you, I feel like, have gotten involved at just the right time. Yes. Uh, with this being the the it it's city. the new it city everybody <laughs> loves nashville yeah well we we were talking a few minutes ago about the fact that it's something about watching people get the surprise of their life when they're totally unexpected which was what happened to you but just today before you came here you've gotten a chance to do the same thing for someone else yeah tell me about that <laughs> it was so amazing um i have another friend at a different elementary school swab elementary um here in nashville she gave a little birdie told me that they needed a washer and dryer for their school because they've never had one there especially for their special needs classroom a lot of the children could have accidents and the clothes could get messed up and they don't have a washer and dryer there to wash those so i was going to meet with the principal today what she thought was just going to be a tour of the school so I can meet her and I actually surprised her with a washer and dryer today. It was amazing. Did you record that or was there any, do you have a YouTube How can we see this? <laughs> yes, my fiance actually got it on video. Okay. So what they thought was going to be a picture of me and the principal actually was him videoing and that's when I told them that I had a washer and dryer outside for them. <laughs> so that's kind of when I said earlier the fact that the organization kind of morphs to wherever you see um, a need in the community. Yes. Do you, is there one set mission for Little Love Nashville other than just to support the, the community? There, thus far it's been with children. This year I might expand to veterans or anyone in Nashville mm -hmm. that could use the extra help. So it's not limited to just one specific organization. Right. It's anyone who needs help just right here in Nashville. So hopefully it'll be branching out even further soon. I know. I know. Now, as with any new nonprofit, especially like yourself, I'm, I'm sure you need uh, donations. Uh, do you also need maybe volunteers or anything of that nature? Yes, donations especially okay. always, um, yeah. donations can always help more people, so that yes. is wonderful. And then volunteers, um, I'm gonna be doing some events this year hopefully, so that Good. will be great. I'm gonna be doing my own backpack to school drive filling schools or filling backpacks with school supplies and different items that the children might need so yes <laughs> will we be able to go to your website how can we best kind of follow along with you Taylor and see all the great things that you're doing yes my website is livelovenashville.org I also have a Facebook page and Instagram where I try to post what I'm doing what I've done with the money just so people can know exactly where their money is going and that it's going towards a great cause because I think that's so important when you see those children's faces and how it just lights them up it's just so heartwarming absolutely so many things we take for granted as you said like a fidget spinner is every day really important to them yes well where do you see Taylor the organization say five years I, you, in a year <laughs> and a half you've done pretty amazing 
What would you like to be in five years? The sky's the limit. I mean, there yeah. could be live, love, Los Angeles in five yeah. years or live, love, Chicago. Um, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, it's just amazing. Everybody wants to help. Everybody wants to donate their time and money. And so who knows? I know. <laughs> well, I would just encourage everybody to go buy one of these well worth $20. <laughs> I have one and they feel so good on. I have the live, love smash. I've already yes. had people ask me about it. I was walking the green and people have already asked me about that. I sent them to your site. So Thank you so definitely much. support such a wonderful cause and congratulations on Thank all the success you. that your organization has received. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs> Um, I want to also thank my earlier guests for being here, Melanie Wise from Mercy Multiplied, and thank you so much for watching. I'm Tawanda Coleman, and I'll see you next time on the Plus Side of Nashville.